Good evening, fellow modelers. Welcome to Midnight Modeling. Hank here. Tonight we'll be doing a box break of the Revel 132nd Battle X1 in honor of General Charles Yeager, who recently passed away. So, without further ado, let's take a look at it. This is a level 4 kit. It's a um, pretty nice kit. Revel, the box art just was just awesome. And back here we have different things about it. It's going to tell us the colors and what, different things about it. It's molded in, in gray compared to the older version. In 88 was molded in orange. Here's a little bit of the colors. So let's go inside the box. Let's check it out. Side opening box, never a problem. I know some models don't like them, but I'm fine with them. Some instructions here. A little work manual. There's a picture of the finished product. Looks pretty nice. You have regular things that they talk about. And your own rules, I guess. Icons. Here we go with your colors. They're all based on um, colors by um, Revel, which are kind of hard to get now in the States, but supposed to be coming in pretty soon. Got a bit of a screw map. And you go into the building. Cockpit, like always. Then the pilot, Chuck Yeager. Going to go into the little parts of the landing gear of the engine, which is pretty nice. It's a pretty nice engine. We'll be seeing it, but it's nice. And you put the fuselage halves together, landing gear, the wheels and tires. And you're going to here, it gives you the sort of the wings, the canopy. And then here's your, here's your different ones. Okay, this is the first supersonic flight here. And it was in October of 1947. That's the Glamour's Glenis. Then here's the another one, another flight scheme by Charles Yeager. And you're going to get another orange one. Different little, few different little things like U.S. Air Force. And this one goes in with a white stripe atop. That's an intern Air Force scheme. Let's take a look at the plastic here. It's all in one bag and it's it's taped on which is fine some of them have staples some of them have different things but this one's taped gotta watch out because sometimes you get loose parts like here a few little loose parts in there you see you're stuck there and here it is you want to lose them to the floor do that a lot around here Okay, here's the one half of the fuselage. It's actually a pretty good size aircraft. Got some raised panel lines, not a problem. Then you go here is the engine I was telling you about. Really detailed, real nice. That's gonna go pretty cool. Got a separate hatch for the cockpit, so you could either put it closed or you can put it where you're where it's open. You got the wings here, nice wings. Has some molding inside here. Tells you about the year and everything about it. Pretty cool. Here's another little, here's a part of the canopy glass fell off of this. Here's a little part. Here's the parts. Here's the other half of the canopy, I mean, sorry, of the fuselage and the wings. If you look down here, we have the pilot body, really detailed, real nice, has a lot of the creases in the uniform. You have the, both sides. Right here, you got his arms, of course. Then you have his head, two parts. There's 
go down to the decal sheet. And here we got the decals. We got a little bit of the <coughs> instrument panel. Glamour's Glennis, that's going to be the one. You got the different color of the star roundels for the Air Force. A pretty quick box break, folks. So um, here it is in honor of General Charles Yeager, Chuck Yeager. This is the Battle X1. This will be my next build. And hopefully I'll be get, get on this pretty soon. And like we say here at Midnight Modeling, you guys stay safe. And make sure you give us a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And um, let's get building.